Um, I'm going to make a tenuous link with the, with the subject because um, it's a very important one and it does affect working class people uh, in Leith. And that is that for 30 years, we have been complaining about living inside a cloud of hydrogen sulfide coming from Seafield Sewage Works. 30 years of complaints have been made to Labour councillors in particular and Labour MPs and recently MSPs. If this problem had been going on in Stockbridge, I'm absolutely convinced it would have been solved decades ago. Leithers apparently don't count for very much. And the evidence for that is that you've done absolutely nothing about this stench. Now, I'm personally quite pleased to see Malcolm Chisholm here, because I thought he had died six years ago. Oh. Leith Links Residents Association have been writing to him on a regular basis, asking him to get involved in our campaign. We have invited him to meetings, we have invited him to support us, and he hasn't even given us the courtesy of a reply. Now, my question is to Malcolm Chisholm, first of all, why, as our representative, do many people in our constituency think that you don't exist? And secondly, why have successive Labour administrations not done anything to solve this obnoxious smell which descends on Leithers every single summer and has done so for 30 years. If you were really our representative, you would have done something about this and you right. would have been very, very active over the past six years when our association, full of working class leithers, have had to march down to Parliament on a regular basis. I've sat on a toilet in Parliament Square. I've marched a, a giant turd down Parliament Square. <laughs> Last Saturday, I had to dress up in a Guantanamo Bay jumpsuit just to remind politicians that Leithers were still prisoners in the Seafield smell. Not one right. word from you about okay, that. Okay, here it comes. Thank so, you. Please respond. You know fine well uh, what the answer to that is, uh, and I've been very active in that uh, issue, but the fact of the matter He's is that you, you and your, your, your MSP is, is actually, the end, uh, Leith Links is not in my constituency. Your MSP, your let, MSP, let him, let him answer. your MSP, I will, I will your allow MSP you to come back. was Susan Deacon, and you know that she was the most active politician in the whole of Edinburgh in making progress on that particular problem. She got legislation passed in the parliament, which is now being enforced which and which is now allowing feet. a solution to be made. Now, I was a minister who was working behind the scenes with Susan, but she was the constituency MP who was your MSP and the Seafield sewage plant is in, was in her constituency. So it is completely unfair of you to, to, to then say that, that Labour representatives have not been campaigning on that issue. She led the campaign and I was certainly working with her as a minister behind the scenes and that has led to a solution to the odour problem, not to this disastrous problem that happened at the weekend, but the odour problem has now been resolved in terms of the money being made available. I was the person who pressed Susan, uh, Sarah Boyack about that after I stopped being a minister and I was free to take up these issues in public rather than behind the scenes and I made sure that there was £30 million available uh, through Sarah Boyack to solve this problem. So I think it is very, very unfair for you to mislead people in this audience and imply that I am your MSP when you know fine well that you don't even live in my constituency. So, do, do right, okay, okay, when, when okay, okay everybody. Right, wait a minute, that is the key thing. Will this, is there no smell now and will there be no smell in the summer? Well, the there, there, was, be there was a smell the money, the money is the other available night. and there's going to, there, there is a requirement now because of the legislation for the odour problem to be addressed and £30 million is available to address it. So okay. a plan what's, has been submitted right. by what's Scottish wrong with Water that? to the Council and action will have well, to be taken now as a result of that. First time I've ever seen you get passionate about anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that you are getting passionate about something. Let me just remind you what's the wrong with works, that the sewage works may very well be in Susan Deacon's constituency, but the smell extends to yours. <laughs> in other words, thousands of your constituents have had their lives ruined on a regular basis. Okay. Windows have not been able to be open in the summer. Children but have actually Ro vomited Robert, in gardens. Is it Robert? 
Is you it? Can, you, right, can I ask you something? You can call me Rob, Bob, Bobby Baby, I draw the line. Bob, right. Bob, Bob, can I ask you, if you have 30 million quid, which Scottish Water have now put something forward, just hang on a second, just to get your sort of side of it, um, are you now satisfied that you have won? 30 million pounds, we have discovered, is going to be provided over six years, and it's going to be used for all PFI water treatment plants in Scotland. Even if that 30 million pounds was going okay. to be invested, right. it's not enough because the infrastructure is one of the oldest in Western Europe. You have right. six open primary tanks with no covers on. No other Western water treatment plant would dream okay. of putting open tanks 200 Bob. yards from a 30 Thank million pounds. Thank you. I'm going to take a point from